Hello once again our most valued student my name is Confident and welcome to our revision session and as I say this is for grade 8 as I thought of bringing some of the questions which might be important and give you good marks as you prepare for the final exam so we've got this question here as we're looking at this revision is question number six so it's for grade 8 I got this question number six six point one six point two six point three it goes to 6.4 all right 6.4 then um, with this question also I brought in the formula sheet all right so this is the formula sheet that is very important for this question I think they provided I saw they provided a formula sheet in this one so with that let's try to attempt these questions with the information we're giving on the formula sheet and then the first one says calculate the perimeter we're not gonna waste time there perimeter of the diagram guys when you're looking at the perimeter of the diagram is the distance around the shape so you'll find us that distance which is what perimeter I will say P or let's write in full perimeter is equal to we start there 22 you can put centimeters plus we move on to say let's start here this distance it's 100 centimeters and then plus we continue its distance right around the shape not 100 centimeters where am I getting 100 is 10 centimeters okay so sorry about that is 10 centimeters all right so plus 10 centimeters and then plus 11 centimeters and then plus what we continue distance right around the shape what is that it's six centimeters right there okay so plus uh, six centimeters and then plus we continue what is this distance see that is where now we need to be careful now to say what is that distance so in here let's cut here for example we know that from here to here it's what they gave us down there it's 11 centimeters you see and we also know from the top that from here to here we just got it is what it's 22 centimeters okay is this 22 centimeters so what is the distance from here to there you know you just have to analyze so you know that if I say 11 plus whatever I must get 22 so this must be 11 centimeters so that is 11 plus 11 I get 22 so you continue to say plus 11 centimeters and then lastly we finish up the distance again we need to find this distance what is this distance It's the same thing you cut here and ask yourself to say what is the distance from here to here they told you they told us it's what it's six centimeters so you've got six but we know the bigger distance this big distance this one from there to there we know that distance is 10 centimeters you see it is that distance so what is this distance It's four centimeters so it's four plus six is ten so we have got four there so we say plus four centimeters that's why they wanted it to be all these marks then you get four marks for that is it difficult no so we take a calculator you say 22 uh, plus 10 plus 11 plus 6 plus 11 plus 4 so that that would be the perimeter 64 centimeters if I didn't do any error in terms of adding with my calculator there so perimeter distance right around the shape okay let's move on 6.2 calculate the area now we're in the area of the shaded region round off your answers to two decimal places we'll do those two things you can see it's shaded but there are two shapes here you have got the outer shape which is a square so when i'm calculating the area of the square you know what i'm calculating everything including the circle so i'm going to find first of all area of square remember they gave me the formulas 
but I think you already know the area of the square. Let's check the formulas. Did they give us the area of the square? Unfortunately not. They didn't give us the area of the square, but I think you know the area of the square is length times length, right? Which is equal to 12 times 12. And what is 12 times 12? It's 144. Now it's centimeter area is in squared. That's the area of everything. Now, since I found the area of everything, I come back here and say, I want the area now of only, only inside here. And what shape is this? This is a circle. You see that? This is a circle. I just want this area only. So I'm going to say now, area of circle. I hope you're practicing also here. Now we go to our formulas. Keep checking the formulas area area of circle there number three you must now know you see they gave you the formulas but they never told you the names this is the area of the circle okay pi r squared so you come here and say okay it is equal to pi r squared but now you see even they didn't give you r here you must know what is r let me erase something here to say we know the distance from here to here. Let me use something different here. We know the distance from here to here is 12, right? We call that the diameter. This is called D, the diameter. Diameter. Uh, I'm not writing it right, but let's leave it out. But the, you had the name, is the diameter. And if I divide it and I've got a center here, this will be radius, that will be radius. So diameter is the radius, I mean, is the the radius to get the radius you divide the diameter by 2 so if this was 12 this would be 6 that would be 6 so that 6 plus 6 is what is 12 that is how you get the radius so to, for you to find the radius we're going to say here because it's a mark so we are going to say radius is equal to diameter over 2 which is equal to 12 over 2 which is equal to 6 now we can we are able to find the area of a circle so we're going to say area of circle is equal to pi right pi times because if pi r squared is same as pi times 6 squared you see which is equal to, they never told us the value of pi, but we're going to use the one in the calculator. Are you with me? So you're going to say, shift pi is somewhere here. Pi times 6 squared, which is our r squared, which is equal to what? 36 pi, but press SD. They say how many decimal places? 30. Round off your answers to two decimal places. Guys, your calculator can do that. Shift setup, 6 is fixed. And then fix to 2. They want us to 2 decimal place. You press SD again. There it is. 113,10. You saw that? Your calculator can do that. 113,10 centimeter squared. Area is in centimeter squared. So we have done two things here. Let me erase everything here. We have done two things. We found the area of the bigger square. We found the area of the circle. Now you subtract the bigger square minus the circle. You will find only the shaded region. All right. So this is then you say this area of shaded region. Therefore, area is always like that of shaded region is equal to you take the area of the circle. Of, I mean of the square which is 144 is the bigger number there minus the area of the circle which is 113 is smaller you must not get a negative then you get your answer that is the area of the the area that is shaded it is 144 minus 113 comma 10 then it gives us 30,9, 30,9. So the area there is 30,9 centimeters squared. That's the area of the shaded region. Don't forget, these two parts. Find the area of the square. 
find the area of the circle, subtract the area of the square minus that of the circle. You can see the circle is inside, so it's smaller. It's inside the square. Are you with me? So that is that. Let's move on to something else. It says A is a transformed object to image A, A, A prime or A dot. Mention two types of transformations that took place. Guys, what happened here? Let's make this large. What happened here? So one, one simple thing I know, we are here. So the transformation is one, it's two. You see that? So we have got what? Two steps to the what? Did you move to the left or right? Two steps to the right. That is the first one. It's the simpler one, you see? You move from here to there. It's two steps. Okay. The second one. Okay. Do that. How do you become like this? So you can see that if I rotate this just by 90 degrees, it will become this, this my car here. You see, you just rotate it by 90 degrees. So you can say 90 degrees rotation. Now you must tell us what type of rotation is this? Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? It's anti-clockwise because we want to know how you are rotating. All right, 90 degrees rotation, but anti-clockwise. Then you get your marks. Those are the two transformations that took place. All right. Lastly, we do this question, three marks. Calculate the volume of the cylinder. This is a cylinder. You see, they don't tell you in the, in the formulas. There is a volume of the cylinder. They, they give you volume. Okay, this was area to say L times B, half base times height. You must know here, this is a triangle. Length times breadth, this is a rectangle. Now in the volume, length times breadth times height, this is a cube. Okay, half base, half base times height times height. Mm. Let me leave this one for now. It might be the cone or whatever, but I don't know. But there is the one, the one that we want. The one that we want. V is pi r squared h. This is the volume of a cylinder. Okay, that's the volume of a cylinder. So it's what? Pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the height. So we write here, V is pi r squared h. But you can write it like this, pi times r squared times h. It makes life easy. Which is equal to, we have done something similar. We say the distance from here to here is 8. They told us. They are telling us that. But we want half. And half is the radius. So this 8 here, we call it the diameter. Diameter. So as we want the radius. So the radius, if you say radius plus radius, you get diameter. So now, what we are going to do is to find the radius. We say it radius is equal to diameter divided by 2, which is equal to what? 8 over 2, and the diameter is what? I mean, the radius is what? It's 4. So the radius here is 4 centimeters. So that you say 4 plus 4 is 8. So now we are able to find this 12 is our h height. So our v is equal to pi times r, which is 4 squared pi r squared you see times h which is 12 all right and then they didn't tell us how to round off but we are going to maintain our two decimal places like we did previously so we're going to say shift today is my pi times 4 squared times 12 equal to 192 pi press sd see the number is long can i round off to two decimal places with the calculator yes Shift setup, go to number six, fix. Always look for fix. I don't know what number it is in your calculator. Then you're fixing to how many decimal places? Two. Then you press again SD, which is 603,19. You see? 603,19. Now, whenever they talk about volume, volume is centimeter with a cubic, cubic centimeters. It's centimeter cubed, cubic centimeters. Then that becomes the volume of this cylinder. Give, they give you how many marks? Three marks.
So guys, we have come to the end of our lesson. I hope these have been beneficial to you. Check out the uh, our videos because more and more is coming in as you prepare for your final exams. If you are not subscribed, then it's your fault because you are losing out on many, many videos. We have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.